Greetings, and welcome to another exciting little Linux lesson. I'm Veronica, and today I'm going to quickly go through the ls command. ls is the Linux and Unix terminal command that lists out the contents of a directory. This is extremely useful as a system administrator, where the terminal's totally triumphant in the tableau of tried and true technology tendencies. Learning how to efficiently use ls is vital on the way to becoming a sysadmin, so let's get started. First off, let's navigate to a folder that has a lot of files in it. This is my downloads folder, and it has a bunch of random files I pulled from the internet. Let's try ls just by itself. This drops a big list of files into the screen. This is nice to see and can be useful enough for some cases. But usually we want more information than this, so we're often using arguments to get more details. The first argument I'll talk about is the dash a argument. This option means all, and shows you every file in the directory, even the hidden files that start with a period. This is extremely useful when looking for configuration files, as those are often hidden in a GUI. The next argument is dash "-l", which provides a more detailed list, called a long listing. This shows a ton of great info about the file, including file permissions, file size, edit date, and more. Okay, that's all well and good, but look at these file sizes. It's in bytes, which is great in the 1970s, but nowadays it's not particularly convenient. Not to worry, because you can add the dash "-h argument to make the file sizes human readable. But what if we want to see the newest files first? Well, that's easy with the dash "-t argument, which sorts by time with the newest files first. That's super neat, but what if you have to reverse the order? Not to worry, because there's the dash "-r argument for that." Okay, that was fun and fast. Of course, you can use just some or all of these arguments together, depending on how you need to use the ls command. And there's many, many more arguments to learn, and in this case, the man page is going to be your friend. Just type man ls in the terminal to learn more. One of my favorite things to do with the ls command is to route the output to a text file. This is very useful in my life as a COBOL dev when I'm writing up a checklist of files that need to be updated. To output to a text file, simply use the greater than symbol key, also known as an angle bracket, like this. Now I have a text file with the listing of these files inside it. Using two angle brackets instead of one appends it to an existing file, which is great if I'm gathering a collection of files in multiple directories. That's right, you can use ls for directories other than the one you're currently in. This is extremely useful stuff as both a developer and a system administrator. Now you know the basics of the ls command. Of course, there's much, much more advanced usage out there, but that's a topic I'll save for a future, longer video. One last thing, though, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. I know some folks, particularly on YouTube, will say things like, stop using ls, use this instead. In fact, I'm sure some of you are writing a comment to that effect right now. The thing is, as a professional Linux and Unix sysadmin, I'm frequently working with systems that don't have access to fancy newer tools like this. If you work for an organization that has strict package security requirements, there's a decent chance that you'll be denied access to alternatives that aren't part of the traditional Unix experience. It's like how having a power drill is nice, but a carpenter still needs to know how to swing a hammer. Plus, if you're scripting or automating certain key tasks, the tried and true tools are going to be much more consistent than some of these newer alternatives. So in my experience, it's better to just learn the common tools in the first place. Of course, you can use whatever you like, just make sure you know how to swing a hammer. 
Luckily, there are excellent resources out there for you to learn the common tool sets. And why wouldn't there be? I mean, Linux is awesome. And so are you.